Hi, this is Carrie with Southern Sass Vinyl. Congratulations on the purchase of your Epson XP15000 converted to DTF. So this is how you're going to set up your printer. You're going to need um, a syringe with a needle tip and you're going to need your empty carts and your ink. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is your colored inks you just kind of want to swirl but your white ink you want to shake it and you want to shake it really really well and make sure that white ink is very well mixed okay open your inks and now you're going to take the plugs out of your carts so this right here is your air plug and this right here is just your cart plug okay and I usually do a couple of colors at a time. In this case, because there's two whites, I'm just going to do the two whites. Um, I've already filled up my other ones. These are actually carts that I've already used, and I'm just refilling them. Uh, but it's the same same idea. Okay. So you're going to fill your syringe with your ink. How much ink you need will kind of vary each time you fill, but I just kind of fill up my syringe like this. Okay, and so you're going to take it and you're going to put it where the colored um, plug was. Not this is your air hole, this is your colored plug. And if you look at the bottom, you can see your colored plug goes where the slant is. Okay, and you're not going to jam it all the way in, you're just going to put the tip in and gently squeeze in your ink. Okay, And you're going to fill it up almost to the top and then you're going to let it sit for a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and do both of them. Okay, And the reason is that when you first fill it up, hopefully you're seeing this, your ink will be all the way up here, but as it sits your ink actually has to get drawn into this sponge that's on this side. So you're going to give it a few minutes and let it kind of start drawing up onto the other side. I usually end up filling up my syringe uh, two or three times, usually two. Um, when I first, when you first do your cards, you're probably going to fill up your syringe three times because um, it does take a lot of ink that first time so that you totally saturate the sponge in your cart. Okay, so I'm just going to fill it up. You'll occasionally see some air bubble out on this side. That's perfectly normal. Don't worry about it. And now you're just going to kind of let these sit for a few minutes. And like I said, you're just waiting for this sponge that's on this side of the cart to wick up the ink. Okay? And as you notice it going down, you can add a little bit more ink to it. It's okay if it comes out like that. We'll clean that up in just a second. That's why you have paper towels. Any that's left over, you're just going to stick it back in your bottle. Okay. Set this over here. Going to make sure you cap your ink tightly. Set it to the side. And you're just going to continue to let that sit. Make sure you have napkins beside you. I did not, so I just had to go grab one. And where that ink kind of came out of that plug hole, you're just going to get a little paper piece of paper towel and you're just going to kind of blot. Okay? Because you want to keep the holes around where your plugs go as clean as possible. Dried ink is not your friend. All right. So if you're noticing, like like these are, where the ink is staying on this side and it's not wicking to um, this other side anymore, then you're good to go. Just go ahead and put your air hole plug in, and then your colored plug. Okay. 
And you do want to make sure that you leave the orange caps on the bottoms and you do not throw these away. You're going to keep those because every time you change out your ink, um, when you take these out of your printer, you're going to put them back on these caps so that your ink doesn't come flying out everywhere. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go put this in our printer. So I'm going to pause you for a second while I move over to the printer. All right. So I am over by my printer. This is not a brand new printer that I'm working on. This is actually a used printer that I purchased. Um, so you're going to need, notice some ink and stuff in here and that's, and that's fine. All right. So I'm going to push this kind of over like it would be if you were uh, just turning your printer on for the first time and you're just going to take your caps I'm sorry your carts and on the end right here is the little flap and you're just going to pop it off and you are going to notice ink in the bottom of your cap okay you're going to push that down until it clicks for these set these aside once you get all your ink carts in you're actually going to go take these and wash them off that way you don't have, that way the, the ink doesn't dry on them because um, that just makes a mess and when it's time to, cha to change out your ink carts or refill them, I'm sorry, um, it's just going to create a mess. You want to make sure that your ink carts seal to the caps as good as possible. Trust me, I've done it. And don't get frustrated, guys. Remember that we were all new at this at one time. All right, so all of my carts are in. They're ready to go. And so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the little clear air plugs. I keep a little baggie. That way I can take them out. And they just go straight into this little bag. So that I don't lose them. Seal the bag, set it somewhere out of the way. All right, so my this is unplugged, so I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. I'm kind of working in a tight space here, so bear with me. Okay, once it's plugged in, you'll see the little light flashing. Hang on, I'm going to kind of adjust you a little bit okay and you'll see the cart start moving you'll hear it come on and you'll notice that this light keeps flashing as long as it's flashing your printer is not ready to go yet just let it do its thing. Sometimes it'll pop up on the screen and it'll say initializing, um, and that's fine. Alright, All right, so it's also going to say a firmware update is available. Update the firmware from the settings menu. Dismiss. You're going to hit OK to dismiss. Never update your firmware. When these um, chipless carts are put in, chipless firmware is installed on the printer and you do not want to update or else you will not be able to use your printer. Never, ever, ever update the firmware. All right, so now you're ready to go. So the first thing you're gonna do is on here, you're gonna come to setting, I'm sorry, to Wi-Fi on the settings and you're gonna set up your Wi-Fi connection. I've already got mine set up so I can just close it, but you'll go through the steps, it walks you through it. All right. The next thing you're going to do is, this very first thing is maintenance, and you're going to hit OK. And you're going to want to perform one head cleaning. And all that's going to do is that's going to pull this ink down into your print head. And it says it takes about three minutes. So we're just going to let it do its thing. And while it's doing that, I am going to go wash these caps off, and I'll be back with you in just a minute. Okay, so... The uh, head cleaning is done. One thing I did forget to mention was on your white inks only, go ahead and take out your colored caps. Um, for some reason, one of the issues with these is that 
it um, kind of gets some suction on the on the uh, cartridges and so just go ahead and remove those two um, colored uh, plugs also uh, and do that before you do your head cleaning so now that we have the head cleaning done um, I did go ahead and put standard white paper in the feed tray in the front okay and you're gonna close that and it's gonna come up and it's gonna say do you want to check and we're gonna go ahead and check this so we're just gonna give it a few seconds let it I don't know why it's telling me paper is out everybody this was a used printer so it's kind of got some issues anyway let me see if we can make it do its thing now hmm so that's interesting and this is the first time I've ever turned this printer on um, other than when I started cleaning it and I did a head cleaning with the cleaning cart so I'm not sure exactly what is wrong with this so we're just going to move on and pretend like it's not doing that um, so you're going to do your head cleaning if your head cleaning comes out good fantastic you're ready to move on to the next step which is to set it up on your computer um, hopefully everybody knows how to set it up on your computer already you're going to need to install your drivers um, and you can get those from the Epson website make sure that you do not update your firmware that's probably the most important thing and then you'll also need to add this printer to um, your computer I set mine up as DTF um, XP 15,000 and then the last three I'm sorry the last four of whatever the serial number is that way um, I know what it is and that's just because I run multiple printers um, so that way when I'm going through the software, I know which printer I'm actually printing to. So we'll pick this up uh, once I find out what's going on with this printer and we will move on to your first prints and getting set up in um, AcroRip. Uh, if you have EK print, um, I'm sorry, I don't use that and I don't know anything about it. Uh, so I can't help you with that. Um, there are a lot of really good resources out there for that particular software, but me personally, I use AcroRip 10, um, and that's because I run uh, multiple printers, and with EK Print, you actually have to uh, purchase a license per printer, and that can get pretty costly. Uh, so, if you have any questions, as always, reach out to me. Uh, my email is sassyvinylhtv at gmail.com. And you can also go to my website, southernsassvinyl.com, um, and you can reach me with the message us button there. Thank you.